And one thing right now that um, I just tweeted out uh, to the financial media is that I believe the White House brought out the good news uh, with China because they wanted to prevent a 210 inversion, right? I've talked about inversions for so many uh, years right now. Actually, was my forecast at the end of 2017 or 2018, and I believe we inverted the, the yield curve last year. But a 210 inversion, if it happens, every financial media news outlet is going to talk about when you get a 210 inversion, a recession is going to happen 14 to 18 months after the fact. I, I believe the White House wants to get ahead of that. And that's why they came out with the good news with China. Now, the bond market sold off a little bit. The stock market rallied. But keep an eye out in the future. So when the 210s invert or getting to be an inversion, look for maybe some more good news to come out of the White House not from being the talking point from now going into the election year. All right. Guys. Guys. Logan is one of the smart ones. Okay. He's selling you a fucking story. I believe, well, yeah, I believe, uh, you know, that fucking uh, there's Martians on, on Mars. Okay. This, guys, 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 let me tell you something. Number one, things are different this time around. Okay. You have interest being paid on reserves and... You also have deficits increasing. Never in history has the yield curve inverted with reserves being uh, paid interest and deficits increasing. That's never happened. So I don't give a fuck what the media says, nor do I give a fuck what Logan just said, what he believes. All right, because it's not going to make you money. And if you listen and you start thinking, oh, it's okay, I'll buy a little bit here and it's going to go up uh, because the, the Trump is going to say something good to prevent the yield curve from inverting. You are going to get hurt. Okay, you're going to get hurt. You're going to start making decisions based on what some other guy's beliefs are. Again, Logan is one of the good guys. He's one of the smart guys. But here is the problem. He's raising the bar on himself. He feels like he needs to outdo himself and not do himself and not do himself. And he's the only one that called for the uh, 163 level. And he's the one that said that he believes that the yield curve inverted in 2017. And he believes. And listen, they're all the same. They get high on their own supply. Okay? You know what a hasa is, Frank? It's a pig that doesn't fly straight. These guys are not flying straight. Now, is he smart? Yes. Is he, uh, you know, in the right side of, of what's going on? Yes. But, but he's getting high on his own supply. He's raising the bar. He's trying to outdo himself every single day, making videos in frenzies, setting alarm clocks to wake up in the middle of the night because some alarm went off. Um, if he's not showing you his trades, okay, then I, I'm telling you right now, his trades are a fucking disaster area right now. Okay? He's, he's the type of person that thinks he can outguess himself <laughs> forget about everybody else he thinks he can outguess himself you don't make money by guessing you don't make money by trying to predict what the president is going to do and what he's thinking and what this person is thinking that person is thinking that's not what happened and i i, I just sent an email out to the uh you know the the so the the the, the media uh, outlets and let them know that uh, this is what's going on yeah yeah bob it's a shame. It's a shame that we, we've lost Logan, okay? I, I really looked up to him, has made some really good stuff, good, good points in the past and everything, but don't listen. Don't listen. They're all, they all end up the same, like Peter fucking Schiff, Mousy Boy, Logan, Mosler, all of them, all of them. And yesterday... When Trump came out and said, look, we're going to delay, whatever, market got up, went straight up. He got all excited. 
he sat in front of his little TV or whatever, his little camera. He made this video. And you know what the market did today? This is what the market did today. Okay? Up, down. All right? So, again, if you guys want to learn real macroeconomics, come down to real, uh, patreon.com slash real macro. And, uh, you know, it's the art of not knowing. That's what I teach. The art of not knowing. And, uh, if, oh, by the way, if you guys think I didn't call that the uh, interest rate is going to fall, here is the chart that I was showing all of my subscribers. Okay? This is going up, and this will lead to the downside. Now, do I know if it's going to hit the 158 or the 167 area, or if it's going to hit the 133 area or the 145? Or the one? I don't have a fucking clue. I'm not supposed to have a clue because I don't have a fucking crystal ball to tell you what the fucking future is. See how that works, right? See how that works? But I did tell you that this is, you know, when we crossed the line, I made several videos about this. When it was at 325, I'm like, watch this. <laughs> this is going to fucking hurt. And boom. Okay. Boom. Straight down. I didn't sell anybody any cute stories. I didn't tell you why it's going to go down because I don't know why it's going to go down. Uh, I don't have a clue as to where it's going to bottom. I can tell you probably around the 133 area. Okay. But beyond that, I don't have a clue. I thought 208 was going to hold. Didn't do it. Oh, well. <laughs> Zero fucks given by me. You see what I'm saying? It's the art of not knowing. That's what makes you a good trader. Not somebody who's telling you, oh, I believe that uh, Trump is doing... How the fuck do you know what Trump is doing? No, thinks. How do you fucking know? Right? What happened yesterday? Market went straight up, boom, straight down. Do you think he wants to remove that video now? If he doesn't, he's stupid. God, I hate fucking social media fucking gurus. They're all idiots. And, and it's such a fucking shame. Such a shame. I, you know, I... And, and I told a friend of mine, I said, you know what? Wait till the market starts turning and let's test this guy. Let's see what this guy is going to be made of. Wait till the market starts to. And I'm not saying it's turning. I'm just saying wait till. The, and look at the way he's reacting. And it's I've been following now recently for a while and I've been bitching about it. But now it's, you know, after this little bullshit, cute little story he's selling people and he's raising the bar up on himself. You know, I'll tell you what reality is. And I'm sorry, you know, I didn't make the video he, he made. Uh, he gave me the material. So don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. 